I built this under deck water diversion canopy a few months ago and uh, it's been a godsend in preventing water from gushing down on us from the deck above when we go in and out of our front door. If you have a similar project you'd like to tackle, please check out this video. Here are the deck drain fasteners I purchased. They were 1419 or 100 fasteners. And these are the panels. They have 12 foot, 10 foot, 8 foot. I think that's all I got. I got the 8 foot. So here are the panels. I decided to get uh, 8 foot panels. I have five of them. I'm not going to use all of them. Um, but they're, they were short enough, to 8 feet, to fit in my SUV, which uh, was key because it was like 60 bucks delivery. Um, each of the panels was roughly $15. So um, it's not real expensive. Notice they have ridges so the water will run down the ridges. I'm going to use two overlapping um, in the area I'm going to do first. Um, I also built some of these holders. There's probably a technical name for them, but they will help be my other arms holding up the panels while I'm screwing in the the panels with my drill gun. What I have to do is create a slope going from, I'm going to have the water not coming actually away from the house, but I'm going to have it running alongside the house and down to this area, uh, to the side of my deck next to my steps. And uh, I'm going to put a gutter over there and have it go down past this uh, rock wall area. So what I'm working on today is I'm creating these um, s these pieces of wood purloins or whatever the word you want to call it. Um, they'll go in various sizes and they'll run right along the joists and I'm gonna start with a half inch then every joist I'm going to add another quarter inch until I get to the end I think it's roughly three inches uh, drop so um, that's a should be a good enough slope for draining the water away from the door and away from the house so today with my table saw it's right here in my shed I've ripped a bunch of pressure treated 2x6 pieces at certain widths. You see I'm starting with a quarter inch, I'm sorry, a half inch, then three quarters, an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, inch and three quarters, and two inches. I think I need two or three more, uh, one or two and a quarter, one or two and a half, one or two and three quarters. Um, but I'm going to put these up today. I'm going to start the thinner ones with my finishing nailer uh, because I don't want them to split because they're, you know, the, the half inch is, you know, fairly thin, half inch. And uh, I just want to make sure I just get them up there because when we put in the actual screws with the rubber washers that I got that are also tough picks, um, you know, they're going to be secure up there. I'm going to show you those um, screws that I purchased. They're called Tuftex deck drain fasteners and um, you know, they're really perfect for this application because they're actually the same color as the panels. I got all the stuff at Lowe's, bought it myself. I didn't order it, pre-order or anything like that. And I also picked up uh, this is a quarter inch head hex on the top and I picked up these DeWalt heads for my uh, drill gun. 
you can see these will fit perfectly uh, in my drill and it'll be easy to just screw them in upwards. Um, there's a metal washer and a rubber washer at the bottom so that it seals and prevents any water from flowing down, which is exactly what we're trying to prevent. So I put the first three spacers on with my finishing nailer. It's one and a quarter inch nails. Uh, this one just, just barely up there. That, that starts with a half, three quarter, then an inch. Um, for everything else I'm going to just use screws so that they'll stay up there. I just didn't want to split any of these smaller, thinner pieces. Um, there'll be plenty more screws in there once I start attaching the Tuftex panels. Okay, so I put up uh, the first one, two, three, four, five, six uh, spacers um, at varying widths uh, going down to that's one and three quarters at the end. And I have another one that's two inches. I had to notch it to get around a section right here. Um, and I have to pick up a little bit more wood so I can rip the last three uh, and then we should be all set. I also need to get some longer screws, something like three to three and a half inch screws so they go up into the, into the joists. So I've finished with all of the spacers that create the slope where the water is going to run down this way, the way I'm walking, and then into a gutter at the end of my deck. That last piece is shorter than this one here because there was already a longer, looks like a two by 10 at the edge of our uh, two by eight at the edge of the deck. So I just need to make a Make a piece that would get it down to I think it's two and three quarters uh, total from the top to the bottom. So now the next thing to do is to add the Tuftex panels, which I'll do tomorrow. Well, here I am on Saturday morning. I have all of the wood inserted at the various levels to create the slope going down to this end. And I have these two structures I created to hold up the other side of the panels. I have my port-a-cable drill gun and my Tuftex screws with the the rubber washer and the metal washer above that and I have the attachment uh, for the screw into which the hex uh, head will stay and it's actually magnetized as well so it stays in there and you can see the screw doesn't need pre-drilling which is great so I'm ready to put up the panel Okay, here's the first panel going up. I'm overlapping it past the joist because I'm thinking of filling this area in later. So I'll be doing, adding some more panels over here just to make it look nice. I live in an octagon home, so nothing's really at right angles. So you have to deal with that issue. Um, so here are my structures helping me hold up the actual panels and I've put in three screws thus far just want to make sure everything is square and lined up um, before I move forward so keep going well here's what it looks like so far we have an overlap in the middle Going all the way down to the edge, I have to put this one last piece on, which is a little bit tricky because I have to notch it around the wood, 
which you can see up there underneath my stairs. But hopefully it'll work fine. Uh, we'll see. We're going to have to test it out with some, either wait for a rainstorm or just use a hose, which, which is what I'll probably do. Anyway, we'll come back when it's done. Here it is Sunday morning and I'm going to fill in this area out to the diagonal so it looks finished. But this is what I did yesterday. Looks pretty good. I have to uh, put some more screws in to cover up those seams, but other than that it looks came out pretty good. I want to also want to put some molding along the edge so that it looks better. But those are finishing touches. But today I'm going to work on this section. Uh, I have a quarter piece, quarter of inch piece of wood I'm going to attach to this joist here um, just to continue the slope. Um, this joist here with the with the uh, screws already in um, was a half inch so that's a quarter inch so it's still sloping down and that's just going to have nothing on it, uh, the, the last joist. So I just put a quarter inch piece on this joist, the second joist in from the end because the joist that's where these screws are, are is at a half inch. So and this final joist of the front one I won't have any wood at all because it's going to slope down to that end over there. Big challenge was getting around this pipe. It's coming up from my electric meter and there's also some cables uh, for my cable TV and internet. So I ended up cutting out a template here. Hard to see. Template, but then I modified it on the final piece here to have the shape of the pipe and a notch for the cable and then a notch for a corner board on my house. Now I'm going to put this up. Well the project is essentially done. I added some cedar kind of molding around the edges just to give it a finished look. I actually created some cedar and kind of cut it into the underneath of the stairs to make it look nice. I added the gutter which I'll go over and show you how I did that. The gutter is hardly noticeable when you walk in the house. Here it is here. I bought a hanger, an edge hanger here which fits in perfectly with this gutter that I got from a neighbor. The water will f flow into the gutter. It's another hanger here. I bought them at Lowe's. Put another gutter coming down the steps here. And the water will go down here. I'm going to actually get one of those splash, uh, concrete splash ends. I do something with the uh, some type of downspout here too but that's basically the project and I'm very happy with how it came out here's a view from this side and my wife's happy with it and I'm very happy with it we now can walk in our our front door without getting soaked or out of our front door without getting soaked so it's um, I'm very happy with, with how it came out and uh, I hope this helps anyone else who will undertake a project like this in the future.